Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and do this video today. I I believe it was Crafty Bean, Tina? I think it was Tina. Um I can't remember. There were two videos I watched yesterday that basically said urgently, you need to go to Hobby Lobby and that the Copics were on clearance. They had Copics on clearance. And I started collecting Copics a little over a year ago. But if y'all know, they are so expensive it's not even funny. Real quick, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button, ding the bell next door if you wanna get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up likes are always appreciated. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. With that, let's get back to what I was talking about. Copics are very expensive. Depending on where you shop, the cheapest I have ever found them, period, is at, I believe, Carpe Diem Markers, I think is what it's called. And I think I have found them for like three or four dollars a piece. And if you spend $30, you get free shipping. But, I mean, that can add up. At Hobby Lobby, they're $7.90. They're, they're $8 a marker. And so the only way to, you know, get them is use a coupon on a marker one at a time. That's a long process. Which I've never done. And... I just knew, like, I was like, man, I've got to go. So it was like nine o'clock at night. So, you know, Hobby Lobby was closed. So I'm like, okay, I'll go after work today. And um, I ran to my store, went back there. And sure enough, it's back in the clear. They're, the ones that are marked down are down in the clearance aisle. And when I first saw them, I'm like, man, they got picked through. Um, I will never use all these colors until I started going through them. And I had had no intention. I was trying to be strong. And y'all know how hard that is for me because I like to shop. I was like, I'm not going back for the Hobby Lobby clearance. I made my first good run for this, you know, this particular cycle. Because we know that they do their clearances in cycles. And... I was just like, you know, I found just about everything I was looking for. I'm just going to leave it at that. But when she said Copic markers for $1.99 a piece, I was like, I'm there. Um, yeah. So I got 39 Cop Copic markers, I believe, for $77. I think. Whatever... 39 is times 2. I don't have a calculator in front of me at the moment. But it was less than 80 bucks. I mean, hello. Um, you That's basically regular price. 8 markers. I basically got... Include... I, what's 2... I basically saved almost... Well, I, I picked up 2 other items. So I spent $100... So I basically bought $400 worth of stuff for less than $100. So I'm going to show you what I found. Then I'm also going to show you, basically this is a collective video. I am just rambling. I am, I apologize. Um, I wasn't sure I was going to do this video today. but So this is a collective haul. It's going to be Hobby Lobby, The Ink Road, One Item from AliExpress, and um, one stamp set that I bought from the Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber. Because just so y'all know, it goes on all month. Uh, new stamps every day. And again, they are while supplies last only. So if you go and you see something you love, you better order it. Because once they're sold out, they don't come back. If it's a Stamp Timber stamp. So I'm just putting that out there. If you see it, buy it. Don't pass it up because you won't get it. But, so, let's see what I found, y'all. We are going to start with Hobby Lobby. Oh, I got three things. Okay. So, the first thing I got 
was this crease pad for the Big Shot. Uh, normally $10.99, I got it for $2.74. And basically it just helps you, it's like a little extra oomph when you're using uh, dyes that like may have like fold lines in them. And so that basically helps helps you get a better fold line. And for $2.74, there were two I should have grabbed in both, but I only grabbed the one because I think I have one of these. And then the great thing is there's additional shims in the pack. So if I go back tomorrow and it's there, I'm going to grab another one because, I mean, you just can't beat that price. Then I picked up this Spellbinders die. It says Marissa Job. Job. I think, but it's this really pretty wreath, normally $23. I would not pay $23 for this. It says blooming floral wreath. And so it has the big wreath and then you have different flowers. And they just show the wreath cut out one time and then the flowers layered. I mean, it is pretty, but I would actually probably cut the wreath out twice, layer it, and then do the flowers. But I was not passing that up for $5.74. It is, y'all know how much I love Spellbinders. So um, I jumped right on that. And then speaking of Spellbinders, y'all know my love of the Glimmer Hot Foil system of theirs. And they had this. And it's called Flower Pattern. Normally $25 and I got it for $6.24. And that is just gorgeous. They had, they didn't have a lot of the Glimmer system on clearance. And so this was the only item, because I picked up the last go around. I mean, I grabbed everything up. I even got some great prices on the foiling. And, um, but I didn't need what they had. So I, I left. I was actually, you know, reasonable. Do, will I use this? Yes, no. They had so many dyes. It was not even funny. And so I think uh, I'm going to go back tomorrow. I'm going to a different store to see if I can find some more Copic markers. And if they have a decent uh, selection, I'll probably pick up some stuff to to put in giveaways. Uh, they if Because if it's the same thing at my store, I, I won't use them. So I'll just pick them up as giveaways. But... I thought that was beautiful and I was not passing it up for just over six dollars. On to why I went. This, I am, I can't tell you how excited I am. So yes, I paid $77.61 for 39 Copic markers. You, you just can't go wrong with that. Because if you buy them in the color bundles, like they have like color families, I think there's usually what six or eight maybe markers in that you're you're paying 50 bucks I think for the set now they used to be cheaper you can get those bundles and then use a 40% coupon on it but I think I already have them all so I, I passed on that so total for all the markers and the three pieces with tax I paid $99.95 $7.62 of that was tax. So basically, basically I saved over $300. I'm sorry, you can't go wrong with that. So I'm going to do these, I'm going to try and do these. I put them up on the register in like color families. Because I was worried that I was like buying multiples of the same colors, if that makes sense. So I'm going to try to do this the way I did it when I checked out. And again, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't get all the markers. I'm sorry if you don't like the noise. A lot of you were really kind yesterday when I was talking about trying to be quiet. I guess we'll start with the yellow oranges. So, yeah, they had so much more. They had lots of pastels and fluorescents. And 
I don't think I'll ever get the fluorescence now. I've, you know, never say never, but um, I may pick up some pastels. And this may look like a pastel collection to you, but if you were to see what was at the store and what I got, you'd agree that it's not. So I got six that are in the yellow. So these are the yellows, and then these are the yellow reds. So, and I like how close those are together. So one of them is called L Loquat, and the other one is called Caramel. There we go. So I got those two right there. So technically, you're looking at $16 that I paid $4 for. Then we have, I mean, these are really great color combinations because they're only like two apart. I mean, it's like as far as color layering and stuff like that. So we have the Y13 and the Y15. So lemon yellow and cadmium yellow. There's that. Then you have Y21 and Y32. So buttercup yellow and cashmere. And you know, they actually look fairly similar. But when you put them up next together, you can tell they're not. So there's that. So that's the yellows. Uh, we'll do greens next. I was really excited about the greens that I got. Because I didn't have a lot in my current um, selection that I have. Because those, those I did do what I mentioned as far as... I'll get this one too because that's a yellow green. Because they came in those combos. And so I just bought the combination uh, sets and I used coupons on them. But this was back when the prices were lower. So I think I bought those sets for like 16 bucks a piece uh, or less. Maybe 12 because I think at the time they were, they really upped their prices recently. Anyway, so on to where I'm at now. Two, four, six. So I got eight in the green color family and that's yg 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 all right so we'll so i got three in the green and five in the yellow green so we have like this one's kind of like in your face we have g99 and g or g94 and g99 so this is grayish olive and olive and then we have G16, which is called Malachite. So like that one's like way out here. And now that I'm starting to get a decent collection of Copics, um, I mentioned the other day, you know, like in my 10 crafty you know, questions, Sandy Allnock does an amazing, has an amazing Copic class. She's, she's, I believe she's a master Copic instructor and she has this hex chart that I think I'm going to buy now. I wasn't going to buy it till I was, you know, started getting a fairly okay selection. So there's that. And then we have YG11, YG91, 3.99 and 67. And YG stands for yellow green. So these two here, we have looks like mignonette and yellow green. Then we have Moss, which is this one. And then we have YG99 and 91. And so one is called Putty, and the other one is called Marine Green. Come on and focus. There we go. So there's that. Those are so far. Now I guess we'll go with the reds. I didn't get a lot of reds, but I am happy with the ones that I got. This is E, so that falls under, I think, Earth. I would put it more with the red. I'm going to put this one with red, even though it's not. So actual reds, I got R56 and R8, which is Current and Vermilion. those. Then I got RV29, which is red violet. Come on. And this one is called crimson. Hello. There. And then this is that one that's an earth tone. It's E07. 
and light mahogany. And so, I mean, like if you look at it, I would agree. It goes more with the red than it does an earth tone. So there's that. Then in the browns, or as they call them, earth tones. I love this selection too. That's that that's not a brown, but it could pass. We have E17, E44, and E74, which is reddish brass, clay, and cocoa brown. Again, um, I was trying to go with colors that, you know, color selections that would blend. Um, and I was trying to keep in mind what I already had at home. Then I have, you know, uh, this, this, this. Anything else? I think the rest of this falls in blues and okay so in the grays in the warm grays i have w0 w2 and w4 so warm gray zero warm gray two and warm gray four i think i, I did i dropped one darn it er, sorry i hope you didn't see me I am dropping everything now. I am so I am so sorry, y'all. And well, there's one. Where'd you go? I heard you drop. There you are. I dropped it once already. It's determined. It doesn't want to be on TV. Okay. How do I do this? B. I guess we'll just do the blues. Kind of funny. I'm, I'm trying to do this by family and it doesn't, when you see it, it's not really going to make sense. So these are all part of the blue family and one of them actually looks like it's purple. I'm tr let's see. These go together. Move these this way. I'm trying to like get them in color order for you. And I'm not doing a very good job. I do apologize. 70, 60, so this goes here, this goes here, sorry you're just seeing nothing and just hearing me, uh, um, alright, so in the blue family, I have B0000, B32, 23, 60, 66, 79, 91, and 93, so it's pale celestine, pale blue, Thalo blue, pale blue gray, clematis, iris, pale grayish blue, and light crockery blue. So those are the blues. So there's that. Now, blue green. So these could, I think these actually fall more towards the green than they do the blue. But we have BG32 and BG75, which is aqua mint and abyss green. So I was happy to get those. Then we have the blue violets. There were only two that I picked up. And that is BV4 and BV23, blue gray and grayish lavender. Then we have one cool gray number 00. zero. And last but not least, I have two neutrals. Neutral gray zero and neutral gray six. Come on. There we go. So I got all those Copics for $77. I call that a major score. And I'm also going to include in the description, um, there is a Copic, there's an app. It's a Copic app 
that you can put on your phone and then you tell it all the colors you have so that if you're shopping because I think there's like over 300 colors I think in the Copic I'm not sure how many are in the sketch I'm not very knowledgeable in Copics it's something that I'm learning but there's a lot we'll just say that and so with the app you can see what you have and what you need so you're not like buying doubles so so yeah, so I'll include that in the, the description for you. And so that is Hobby Lobby. Then from Simon Says Stamp, really excited. There's, it didn't come with any, I, they, they're intentionally not doing any like coupons because you know it's Stamp Timber. But I got this set called Snow Bunnies. And this is a collaboration with Lawn Fawn. And I just love, I love Lawn Fawn. And that little snow bunny is too adorable. Hoppy holidays. Let it snow. Merry Christmas from every bunny. We wish you a Merry Christmas to some bunny special and a Hoppy New Year. And I got the one with the matching dies. So... I just thought that was really adorable. There is a one that I ordered yesterday or the day before that is nautical themed. So there's a lighthouse, you know, obviously when I saw it, y'all knew I had to buy it, you know, I had to add it. So, so far that's all I've bought from Stamp Timber and they are on day 10. So I think I'm doing really good or day 11. So I'm two out of 11. I think that's a good good deal there then aliexpress i honestly thought this got lost and it was never coming but it's a doily die set and do i have i could have sworn i have a ruler here or i thought i did i was gonna yes i do i knew i did Gonna tell you how big the biggest one is. There are four dies. The biggest one is it would help if I use the correct side. Four inches just it's four and an eighth inches wide. The smallest one is we'll go this way. It looks like one one and a quarter inches. So those are some decent sized doilies. So I got that. Come on. And then last is the order that I got from the Ink Road stamp. And one of these items, I have to contact her because um, I think it either needs to be replaced or I have to send it back. We're going to do this so you can see. I ordered more of the pens because I think they're beautiful. But this one, if you look up here, you see that up there? There's like ink leaking around up here on the inside of the barrel. So I need, I have to email her and let her know because um, I don't think that's cool because I think these were $10. These weren't cheap. These pens were not cheap. So I need to contact her about that. This, she sent me a silver ink spot for this one with, uh, looks like it's the same sequins. It's been the same sequins lately. So that's going to be added into that giveaway I'm going to do. Stick that over there. This was the postcard this time. Finishes the project and cleans up craft room. Oh, sorry. What was that? I couldn't hear you over the sound of me getting my life together. Got embossing powder, glue, tape. Yeah, scissors, so. I don't think that one's as cute as the other ones. So anyway, there's that one. This order is mainly embellishments. And I got two of each. And I'm going to do them. Yeah. So we have Aurora Large Deluxe Gems. So... Let me take these off so I can lift them up and show you guys. And it's different sizes. 
So they kind of change colors. So I got two of those. They're small pots, and that's why um, I ordered two of each. And I will say I think they're $4.99 per pot, so they're kind of pricey. But they are very beautiful. And, yeah, so there's that one. Then I got, where's, where's that? Large Flat Gems Denise Pink is what these are called. I don't know why I keep doing that. And there's like different shades of pink in there. That's just a small selection of uh, this set of flat back sequins. So there's those. This is running longer than I expected. I'm sorry. I try to keep my videos under 25 minutes because I don't want to bore people. Because I've had people, you know, say, hey, these are too long. These ones are called Large Flat Gems Shannon Green. So, different shades of green. Ah, oh, come on. And I think these ones are all the, no, they're not all the same size. Or maybe they are, I can't tell. So, there's the Shannon Green. Come on, be good. Of course, two of them had to jump out of the pot. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to hurry because I don't, again, I don't want to bore you. We have three more color families. This one is... Here we go. I think I'm missing something. Large Flat Gems Catherine Purple. So basically, this is different size purple. Um, I think they're different. Yeah, they're different shades of purple. So there is that. This one kind of looks a little funky. Anyway, so there are the purples. I got two of those. And once the craft room is sorted through... I'll show you, I don't think I'm going to keep these in these pots. I have uh, the, I believe they're the Doris. I had to have dropped something because I know I ordered two of everything. Or maybe I didn't. These do not have a name, but I think these are a repurchase for me. Sorry for the squealing. But this is just a color variation, it's like a mixed color family of iridescent flatbacks. Uh, anyway, so I got two of those. It's kind of hard to see. I mean, they almost all show up the same color, it looks like, on the camera, but they're not. Two of those, and I could have sworn I grabbed two of these large flat back Rachel Black Pearl Gems. So, I'm going to have to look around and see what happened with that. But these have like an iridescent glow to them. They're really pretty. Come on. And they're different sizes. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, so super pretty. So that is my collective haul, y'all. Again, this was basically all about me going to Hobby Lobby because that is what I was most excited about for the Copics because I don't think I'll ever find another deal like that again. I mean, that was just total luck. And um, yeah, so like I said, be on the lookout. I'm going to put a link to the two channels that I'm in love with. Oh, wait, no, that's my other video. I apologize. I was talking about Maggie Holmes and two channels that I love because they do amazing 
artwork for friend mail. So yeah. Anywho, um, that is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed what I found. Like I said, I'm going to attempt to go find more Copics tomorrow because, uh, yeah, I can't pass, you can't pass up $1.99. I mean, that is just, I mean, especially when you're finding them for $8 a marker. I think they're either $7.99 or $8.99 at Michael's. So, I mean, that is just absolutely crazy. Anywho, ha, huh? that is it, y'all. Um, I think my next collaborate, you know, my collective haul will have the other Simusa stamp set, um, that I purchased. I haven't even looked to see what it was today. Um, definitely go find out because man, uh, I, Stamp Timber is like, I, I live for Stamp Timber every year. Yeah. All right. Love you guys to pieces. I hope you have a wonderful evening and as always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.